All right, well. Uh, Hooray, now we're going to get the everyone, origin story of the pain. Of gameplay, <laughs> actually, uh, Ludwig spits out a giant cloud of bees. Of the his boss. No, Ludwig um, spits out a giant really, bunch really of uh, throat parasites, and then they meet some bees. Wait a minute, this is a different day? Yes, I yes, I do remember this, yes. I kind of have a strategy for the first phase. Oh, I remember this now, yeah. That's because he quit the other stream half an hour early mm -hmm. without uh, any reason to. He just needed some, needed to do something, then he went to bed. Okay, look up a strategy guide. <laughs> yep. For the first form, what I've noticed is it seems like you can tank him a little bit. If you can hit him in the face, he gets stunned for a little bit. Yeah, you but tanking's not the best strategy ever. As yeah, because you run out of blood vials. Attacks, yeah. Typically, you can get past it. The problem was last time... Okay, so there's only one, one boss that I've ever used up every down. single Quicksilver bullet and every single blood okay. vial for, and that's the final boss of this DLC. <laughs> And yeah, he is way harder than bottom. Ludwig. They're... Damn, what a casual you are. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Mm -hmm. I know I should be ashamed, right? Yeah. Especially since you didn't even record it. What are you doing, idiot? Could be making money off of that. <laughs> I should have recorded it. I know I recorded the, uh, wow, the fight against something. the third boss. Like, just hit that, you know, like, share, then save video clip, because I was so mad at that boss, where it's just... <laughs> you're dashing into a pillar, Phil. Anyway, because I was so mad at that boss because of all the visceral attacks that didn't work. Gotcha. Where... How the fuck did I miss that? <laughs> By not being close enough. I think, her, I think his weakness actually is that torso. Yeah, because it's definitely locked on there instead of what I would imagine the head. Yeah, but there's some other bosses that it does that automatically oh, for. Okay. Oh. So if that's true, this is Whoa. maybe the first and only boss where his weakness actually isn't the head. And I'm dead. Because you had next to no health left. He got lucky. <laughs> yeah, okay. He got lucky, I forgot to heal. I had a good start, and then he got lucky. He used two attacks that were incredible range and incredible damage. So I already got him down a third of his life bar. Is Phil's playstyle? I, I know the answer to this already, bad. but is Phil's playstyle all wrong? Like, is he dodging way too much and should be just waiting for the uh, one moment where you know? And get life vials. He, actually, for this boss and for pretty much every single boss, the best way to fight them is mostly to stick close and then just occasionally dodge when they attack and counter. Okay. Because I've noticed that like he, when he he'll do that dodge when there's no need to. And yeah. then when the boss is gonna hit him with an attack, he's already mid dodge, so you can't activate it again. Yeah, that is a bad idea. Okay. Now I wonder if people in the stream chat told him about the. Oh, they did. Okay, good. Oh yeah, look. Oh yeah, yeah he look. Dropped five more blood vials, so I think I could just keep doing that. Hooray. I found that out on my own. That's pretty cool. Now I found a place to grind for them instead of buying them with blood. You weren't even looking at stream here, chat that I time. Back, I'm running against the freaking wall. <laughs> anyway, so that's actually a really good idea. If you're gonna have a boss like this, you might you should have some sort of NPC to refill the consumables you're gonna be using on the boss. You know, so at least you don't have to stand like like stay somewhere else grinding for a long while to get them all back. Sure. Yeah, so you don't have another video where he goes into town and kills a bunch of people there. Yeah, exactly. Let him kill me. Why did you heal if you're just gonna let him kill you? I gave up. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. I gave up because it's fucking bullshit. Basically, just like a lot of the bosses, they have a, a range of attacks, maybe five or six attacks they can use for- Duh! Oh, I'm just gonna use the attack that has insane range, and for some reason when you dodge this time, it won't fucking dodge properly. All of his attacks have huge fucking, range. And I don't wanna fucking fight you. I'll just take the, the kill, I'll take the death, and I'll come back and I'll do it when you're not gonna fucking do the bullshit, and my dodge actually works. If you want the dodge to work, Seriously, you have to dodge at the appropriate time. Because it does I'll make you invincible very, very, very quickly. You don't get the fucking bad pull, where he decides to do the bullshit attack, and your dodge doesn't fucking work. <laughs> the only bullshit attack this boss has is his, is his uh, swipe from, uh, I think it's the boss's right to his left. Because that's the attack that hits you two or three times, it, just randomly. Sometimes it only hits you once, too. Oh, <laughs> wow. 
You can't get health back from them now, Phil. Your rally's gone. Anyway, that when that uh, when they hit you and you have that orange part left that you can get yes. back by hitting them, that's called the rally. Okay. It's uh, something I learned a little while ago. By far the most annoying thing about this fight is when you finally get it going and you're doing well, you end up your back against the wall and you get fucked because you can't get out of the way. Then don't run towards a wall. Situational awareness, though. You're in a corner. Can you see the bodies? Like, when you get close to them, get out of the way. I like how he dashed into it twice before going, oh, I'm in the corner. Yeah, I think that's time eight now. What? Nice. Hit, hit. What hit me? The boss. Yeah. Oh. Uh... Now that is kind of uh, kind of messed up, to be fair. He shouldn't have he shouldn't have put himself in that position, though. Yeah, he should have healed. Yeah, no, there. Well, that was definitely. By the way, I guess the boss's weak point actually is the head because it got stunned for a visceral attack when he hit when he hit his head like that. Enough. So, I guess it's because the sword has such a huge range that it ends up hitting the head anyway when he hits the torso. Oh, okay. Like it just it just sweeps throughout the entire boss. Stupid. Gotcha. And there's a guy over there you can get blood from, Phil. Mm hmm. That guy is actually surprisingly tough to, uh, tough to kill, so. Oh, I see why Phil's yeah. supporting him there. Don't look too closely about the, how the models are positioned when he uh, does a visceral attack on the hag. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm going to be censoring that out. I can't, I can't have an age-restricted warning on it. <laughs> I think if you censor it, you're going to make it even dirtier. <laughs> like, just put a black box over the hand where it's connecting. Dodge! I pressed the fucking button! <laughs> but you were... I'm still pressing the button! He even the yelled out dodge way too late. And I'm dead, look. Okay. I'm honestly not too sure what hit him when the boss fell. Maybe the boss's head? Possibly. If the dodge would fucking come out when I press it, I'd actually dodge the attacks. He Somehow I don't twice, think he would have. Circle, and he stands there like this. And gets hit in the face like this. Duh, I wonder why I'm getting hit. Uh, well, if he was getting hit in the face circle, like that, I don't I think he would take any feet. damage. <laughs> hit yourself as hard as the boss is hitting you, Phil. I want to see it. If he was fighting the third boss, his complaints would be actually like legitimate oh, because she has those combos I mentioned that he can't dodge out of. Do you think maybe he is fighting the third boss, but he just took uh, first boss footage and just spliced <laughs> it over that? Could be. I could take Phil's voice clips and then just put it over my footage of the third <laughs> boss fight, and it would probably match perfectly. Oh, so another thing to correct myself on is I found out that uh, the visceral attacks don't actually do five times your regular damage. The damage they do is based on your level and not actually the weapon you have equipped. So, oh, so it'd be consistent throughout each, each weapon you use? Fairly consistent. There's some small variables here and there, oh. uh, but they don't change the damage r like value uh, pretty much throughout. It like your your weapon, the weapon equipped, adds like something like 1.05 percent more damage or so, like something ridiculously small that doesn't matter at all. Really? So uh, Phil here, since he messed up his build, would actually do way more damage than I thought with a visceral attack if he ever pulled <laughs> it off on this boss. <laughs> Look at this bullshit, dude. Look at this la- I mean bullshit. Look at this! I'm kicking out of the I was block dodging! Yes! <laughs> Remember when he did that with Abritus? Or Abritus? <laughs> He's doing his best attacks over and over. Unblockable! Online only! That's number nine, I think. Wow, that who would've thought running before? into the spray? That never happened before! What an idiot. Nine times! That never happened before. He's doing his best attacks over and over and over, and it's fucking annoying as shit. Did he completely forget every time that the boss did that ranged attack before? I should just stay on the right-hand side, because that's what was working. Oh, wait, this is a new day, so he did. Do the left-hand side, and, uh, <laughs> it doesn't work. You know what's really funny is when I play uh, Bloodborne now, I actually do, like, kind of th jokingly think uh, DSP things in the back of my mind when I'm fighting a boss for a while. Like, start the boss fight up, and she dashes forward to do a sword swipe. That She never did that before, and it's the first time I'm fighting her. Whenever I play a game, and I see resume, I go, Wow, dude, I don't have a resume, what the hell? <laughs> hey! That was kind of impressive, Phil. Good job. 
I mean, you should have kept swinging when he was stunned, but, you know, baby steps. See, Phil's like a computer where, like, okay, now the boss is not attacking me. What should I do? Heal, uh, dodge, keep attacking. And in his mind, he can't figure <laughs> out that he shouldn't have to heal when he's at 100%, so he didn't know what to do there. He's like the Terminator, but he gets his options mixed up. <laughs> can't see what the fuck's going on, look! He's like the Terminator, but every option is fuck you, asshole. <laughs> Why did I die? And then, uh, the option, uh, like, blame yourself is great. No out. idea what's happening. Instead of giving the thumbs up, he gives the middle finger. Mm-hmm. I like Does... how on the previous day he got him to his half health in, like, what, the third or fourth try? Yeah. To be fair, I think so. Anyway. And now he hasn't done that at all. Whoa. I was, I was wondering for a second if this is going to turn into a cover base shooter, but... <laughs> Does your stamina gauge uh, affect how much damage you deal to the, your weapon, too? No, it does not. Okay. I and, think uh, they did that, like, in Dark Souls or something? Or it was with the no. block. I'm stupid. It was with block. Yeah, it actually did that in Lords of the Fallen. Oh. Visceral attack. Right, oh, well, never mind. I guess he doesn't need it. If you did a visceral attack, the boss would start this next phase with much less HP. Now anyway, in Lords of the Fallen, if you, uh, you do a percentage of damage based on how much stamina was used. So if you have 10% stamina left, that, like, necessary to do the attack, you only do 10% damage. Okay. Okay, great. It took you feel like a good full second. see, what the fuck's going on? What do you- you don't need to see it behind you. Yes. There you go. Can't do anything. You can dodge. Because you put yourself in the corner. Yeah. To the shock of fucking no one. You should probably get away. How were you able to guess what he was going to do, Mega? Because every boss fight ever who does some kind of AoE attack like that hits the ground. Yeah. Or, you know, because I haven't seen that before, I would back off and make sure I knew what he was going to do. Yeah. Like, doesn't this even no, look exactly. easier than the rest of the fight? Yeah, pretty much. Like, oh man, he's only attacking directly in front of him. I might as well, no, you know, get behind him where he like can't really hit me. Formal. He's not rushing half the room in each attack. Exactly. Because he's got that fucking projectile, and I dodge through it. And when the camera fucking yeah, Phil, you have no projectiles whatsoever. You certainly don't have the best gun in the game attached to your back. Fast damage, and I got close to him, and it seems like I could get kind of behind him. But now, I know people are going to try and call me out that the gun isn't the best because it doesn't do as much damage, but in terms of how much bullets it uses, because you actually do get an, ex an uh, explosive cannon, but that cannon uses up way more bullets than the gun does, and in terms of how many bullets you can fire, the gun will outpace the cannon. Like, just with the amount of shots and damage that does. I gotcha. Come on! God damn you, Phil. All right. Can you look at stream when you're like running at the boss door, or like look at it out of the peripheral, or like look at the screen out of your peripheral vision? I haven't looked at stream chat in like a hundred years. <laughs> That's why there's all those bands from Dark Side Phil in it, because he hasn't looked at it. Wow. Maybe it's like a bot with just the name Dark Side Phil. Yeah, I remember one person in stream chat posted, "Is he gonna start crying?" At a much later part, why and that, so that person instantly damage? got banned. <laughs> Never done that much damage before. Another ever. person posted, come on, Phil, stay DS positive, and we're also banned. Damn, he got banned for using Phil's own catchphrase? Yep. That's amazing. I'm not even sure that they were joking either. Like, they might have legitimately just been saying that, and then Phil can't tell. Like, <laughs> he just doesn't know what's real and what's not anymore. God, wow, didn't dodge. You dodged into him, like... Yes. That attack couldn't have been more. <laughs> nice. That attack couldn't have been more set up if you. Now, look at that. Forget it. Bullshit. Bullshit. Oh well, he is Bullshit. giving the finger. I called it. I'm going to do a full <laughs> nice. streamed, undodgeable move that takes your entire life bar. You dodged it several times before. And when the game feels like saying I'll randomly insta kill you, I will just randomly insta kill you. No, it's called bullshit. Damn those random number generators.
I still like how his TV is set up, though. How he how it's uh, how he's still playing at like a forty five degree angle. Oh yeah, he's gonna have neck issues like within two years. Guaranteed. Yes. Maybe that's the reason for all his breaks. Is he just has to rest and lay his head down to put it like back straight? <laughs> then he just looks the other direction. <laughs> I played games for three hours looking to the right, so I gotta sit at a wall and look to the left for three hours, mm -hmm. and then Simon stream again. I would like it if he's like, okay, uh, my, I'm having issues looking to the right now, guys. I'm sorry. So then he just moves his couch to the other side of the room, so now he's looking to the left. Now, I'm actually going to defend Phil again for a second. That boss's stomp attack, where it just jumps up and down twice, that hits you twice, and 50% of the time you actually can't uh, dodge that. The dodge legitimately does not come out. Because I'm in the corner, there's no way for me to get out of the corner, so I'll just stomp and take your whole life I like how we were able to bullshit through the entirety of that boss fight, and, and at the same time he died. Yeah. Random number generator again. I like to how... <laughs> do this attack now, and take your whole life bar. New attack, yes. Wow. Find more excuses, Phil, please. What you know what's funny is the boss legitimately does have a random amount, like, its attacks are random, but that shouldn't be any sort of excuse for why you died. Because it's just, oh, this boss has maybe five or six attacks total, so I just remember how to dodge all of them, and then when they, whenever they come up, I just dodge them properly. God, I'm still looking forward to the Hunter stream at this point. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, you were looking directly at it, too. My controller messed up, guys, honest. Hey. Oh, the attack actually hit fell twice that time. He, Yeah, you're totally right in that he should be using one-hander, because he got screwed by trying to swing, and was still in the animation of swinging. Dodge, yeah, the one-handed swings are so much faster that they end, and then he can dodge fine. Not this you can dodge backwards, correct? Yes. Okay. Just, just, just Charge. Just and there it is, the bullshit attack I can't dodge. The bullshit attack that was telegraphed. Yeah, somehow I was able to say it was going to come out. You could send Phil a telegraph that says this attack is coming before the boss actually enables it. Yeah, and he would just... Well, Metal Gear Solid did that, remember, with the, with the end fight? Yeah. What did he do? Fuck you. Hangs up. <laughs> well, I can't read all these dots and dashes, so fuck this. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Phil wouldn't know how to send an SOS. I have to do three dots, then three dashes, then three dots? Really? Who's gonna remember that? Visceral no attack. Sense. At least we'll get him to the halfway point where he transforms, I think. Just shoot him with your gun to guarantee it, Phil. Yes! No, just... Just lose a fourth of your health. Here we go again. There we go. Okay, now for the easy portion. What the fuck? I'm not even pressing a button! <laughs> you obviously were. Oh look, that missed you. Run, Get run, away. run, run! Good. You got so lucky there. Yeah, he was right on the edge of that. The button at all. I never really? <laughs> what the fuck? I you never very obviously the did. So I can't. This, this, this recap. I came out of a cutscene swinging, even though I didn't press the attack button, and then I was dodging to Wait. get to the side, and he attacks, and I die because of it. I like how when he came out of the cutscene swinging, that's that he I claims that's that. what screwed him over. Wow. Yeah. Right. Like if it's anyway, not so uh, if you if the boss hits you with that first swing to the run direction, you're going to get hit by the I second because you legitimately can't up. dodge out of it. But you can't always but dodge that, like, downward slash. Yes, not doing anything. Attack out of the cutscene. I swear to God, I'm gonna buy a controller, leave it in the package, send it to Phil's house, and be like, okay, this is a brand new, fresh controller. You had no excuses for buttons being pressed that shouldn't be pressed. Mm hmm And then he, then he plays the newest Grand Theft Auto and runs over a girl he's not supposed to, and then that's the end of that controller. Yeah. <laughs> Or, you know, fights gargoyles while trying to do a puzzle. <laughs> yes. Whoa! What the fuck? That attack there? also hit Phil twice. The one swipe hit twice. You saw that? You've complained about this in other From Software games, Phil. It's been known at this point. Yeah. Just expect it. It's an unfortunate happenstance, but get over it. 
Yeah, to be fair, it shouldn't happen. But... It shouldn't happen, but it does, and we've known about it for how long now? Yeah, he got hit twice there again. Dad, I'm in the corner, I'm stuck. Yeah, who put Can't you move? there? <laughs> yes. The Garbage. boss put me there. There's a gravitational force sucking me towards the wall, just like in Mega Man uh, X3. <laughs> so that time he refused to move in a certain direction. Even in side scrollers, he gets me. put in the corner. Somehow. <laughs> I didn't do it. Because you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna beat him. It's gonna be a random time. He doesn't do 100 percent damage attacks. He doesn't get <laughs> If you say you are, Phil. Fast attack. I'm gonna beat him. Okay. It took me less than ten tries to beat this boss, because once he gets it once you get him on the second form. He becomes way easier. Is there a third form? No. Oh, shoot. He only has the two. Didn't swing. I never swang. Swang. <laughs> swing, swang. <laughs> oh, there you go. The me. boss swang at me. <laughs> it's gonna be my ah, rap name when I do DSP related materials. Mm hmm. Hey, Phil, could we get like a thumb Hold cam up. if you claim you're Hold dodging so much and he doesn't dodge? If it's random, it should be easier to it's dodge it, because okay. he telegraphs them all. Okay. Well, the random number generator Look says that if it needs to be telegraphed or not. And this time, there's zeros. Ah, I gotcha. So again, I will do a random attack twice in a row that normally I don't do, and I will take your whole life bar, sure. Wait, <laughs> he's done it so many times before! And it's random, so yeah, okay, it can happen twice in a row. If it was a fixed pattern and he did it twice in a row, then that would be maybe a cause to be angry about. Yeah. Where he's always uh, done one, two, three, but all of a sudden he does one, two, no two, then can. you can be angry about that. But when it's random, yeah, it's random. Yeah. Just learn how to deal with it. Like I said, this boss only has like five or six attacks. <laughs> two of which are just swipe, le swipe left, swipe right. Two of which are jumpy attacks, right? Yep. And then the other two are the putrid the, breath? No, the stomp attack and then the breath spitting one. Okay. It should not be hard to figure out how to deal with all of those. <laughs> By the way, if he's getting really upset about this, why doesn't he just use that NPC summon? Like, that NPC is a guaranteed summon. But that's cheating. Phil doesn't want to cheat. Phil wants to win this by himself. He wants to feel fulfilled. Ah, uh, gotcha. Wow, full screen. No. Full screen? What? Oh, he's playing the game in full screen. He doesn't have widescreen definition, unfortunately. <laughs> Does Phil see everything in side scroller Street Fighter vision? <laughs> the boss was way off way off on the right and he did a full screen attack. What the hell? Wow, I can't even tell how much life this guy has because it's in full screen format and I so I can't see it. He didn't have a super, what the hell? How was I supposed to know the boss's Ultra Gauge was maxed out? You know, I hear that if you slow down Ludwig's screams and uh, raise the pitch a little, you f find out that it's Phil complaining about the game. Eventually, Ludwig's just gonna stop you. Like, there's not enough people on stream, I'm not gonna fight him anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing really annoying about this boss, though, is just his amount of screams that he does for yeah, every it's, single attack. It's crazy. <laughs> 100% damage when I was at 50% health. Why does that not sound right? Well, sure, it is 100% damage, because it deals 50% normally, so 100% or 50% is 50%. I gotcha. Phil's a math major. So instant death, right? Exactly! Random number, random number, generator, back to back. Yup, that's my fault. Holy shit, we can make a drinking game out of random number. <laughs> I think random number will pop up more times than fail count. Maybe I should, uh, number all of the boss's attacks and then, like, roll it, have, like, a dice rolling animation that plays over the video. Like, this is the attack I'm gonna use, Phil, when he's telegraphing it. And the next video is half an hour long, forget that. Yeah, right.